Hey, it's Mike with Holiday Rambler. We're here in Decatur, Indiana at the manufacturing facility. Today we're going to take a look at the Admiral 32S. This unit features two full bathrooms. That's two showers, two toilets, solid surface galley tops, and a huge wardrobe in the master bedroom featuring 10 dresser drawers. Let's jump in and look at some of these features. So here it is, the Admiral 32S. This particular unit is a partial paint graphic. It's the Royal exterior graphic. Standard is going to be a gel coated surface with high performance vinyl decals on it. And a brand new option that we're just rolling out is a full body paint option on the Admiral. We have two graphics you can choose from. From we'll post uh, pictures up of those. And this is a good reason why you need to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on the latest floor plans and the brand new options that come out. The full paint option has not even came offline yet. The Admiral 32S is built on a 22,000 pound chassis and it's powered by the brand new V8. That's a 7.3 liter. It's producing 350 horsepower and 468 foot pounds of torque. Now let's move down the entertaining side of the unit and look at some of the features. Starting with the mirrors, we have the nice black mirrors, gives a nice contrast with the exterior. They are heated and they are power as well. We have our cameras mounted high up right underneath our mirrors. And what that's doing is it's keeping them out of the splash zone down below. Whenever they're down below the belt line, they get loaded up with road grime. They're not much use to you, but you can't see out of them. Another great feature on the Admiral is the doggy window. It's a great spot for your pet to look. They can look outside and stay entertained. And plus, when you're making that right turn, it really increases your safety because you can see what's in your blind spot up by the front of your unit. Onto the exterior entertainment system. We have a 50 inch LED TV. We have two marine grade speakers that are located underneath the patio that really enhances your audio experience on the exterior of your unit. Coming into the luggage compartments, our first luggage bay has pass-through storage as well as our inverter. We have a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter and a pure sine wave inverter delivers power to your unit just like the electric company, company delivers power to your house. So that way you know all of your appliances on the inside are safe. Coming back to the next compartment, right here we have our propane tank. This is a 14 gallon propane tank. Right here we have our potable water fill. Directly underneath it, we have even more pass through storage. All of our luggage bays are lined in rotocast. What that is is a military grade composite. It's very durable and very strong. As you can see, you're not gonna have to worry about overloading these compartments with your cargo. The next compartment is, again, more storage. As you can see in these compartments, there's no wood. You don't have to worry about wood rotting out and needing to be replaced later on down the road. With the rotocast, that's not a problem. Coming on to the back of the unit. Up top, we have our backup camera. That does have one-way audio. That way, your spotter can communicate with you. That comes in very convenient when you're backing into those tighter campground spots. The 32S comes with a one-piece ladder and an 8,000 pound hitch. And now since the Admiral 32S is built on a 22,000 pound chassis, it has a 26,000 pound gross combined weight rating. That means fully loaded, this unit can tow 4,000 pounds. And now the OCCC on the Admiral 32S is roughly two and a half ton. Not many people carry two and a half ton of gear. So any of that weight that you're not using in gear, we can tack onto our towing capacity. So theoretically, this unit could take advantage of the full 8,000 pound hitch. And now moving on to the driver's side of the unit. First, we have our Sani Flush. That's where we can hook up and really assist us in cleaning out our black tank, our city water fill. Right behind this vent is our 5.5K Onan generator. We have our fuel fill, our first luggage compartment. We have our 50 amp power cord. Now this is pass through storage. And we have our transfer switch. That transfer switch is allowing your unit to be powered by the post 
or by a generator and it's all done automatically that device also is your surge guard so it's going to protect you against any dirty power coming off the post moving up to the vents now these are for a rv style refrigerator that's going to run off gas or yeah propane or electric and now that is an option in the admiral standard is going to be a residential style refrigerator now who would want a rv style refrigerator now if you're doing a lot of boondocking or off-grid camping and then this may be an option for you moving up a little farther we have our furnace door we have an exterior shower this is a great feature for whenever you're camping if you need to spray off the camping gear or if your pets are like mine i got a german shepherd and he loves the water so if there is one mud puddle on the whole campground that's where you'll find him so this is a great spot to come and address that we have our 10 gallon water heater we kind of passed our last luggage compartment pull out our 751 key and we have our wash down bay right here we have our black and our gray tanks we have our knife valves and our drain hose connection is on a swivel makes it a lot easier to connect your drain hose we have a full house filtration system and we recommend that you change this filter every 8,000 gallons and right behind our drain we have our low point fill or i'm sorry your low point drains and this is where you're going to come when you want to winterize your unit all right moving forward to the last luggage compartment on the driver's side again more pass-through storage so for a 32 foot unit we have a lot of basement storage now that's the quick walk around of the exterior of the 32S. Let's jump inside and see some of the interior features. Now that we're inside, let's take a look at the 32S in travel mode. The good thing about this floor plan is if mom and dad's driving, the kids have great viewing angle of the television for watching TV or for playing with their gaming devices. And the best part about it is there's seat belts so they can be safely strapped in. Now let's take a look at some of the important amenities right here we have full access to our full bathroom moving over to the refrigerator and freezer again doors open up all the way into the master bedroom the admiral comes with a king bed now this does need to be folded up in travel mode but as you can see we still have plenty of room if somebody needs to come and take a nap while we're traveling down the road and not many units have access to the rear bathroom. And again, this is a full bathroom as well. Now let's open this unit up and take a look at some of the interior features. So here's the 32S all opened up. This particular unit is the South Haven interior decor and it has the fossil hardwood painted cabinetry. Now let's start up in the cockpit, take a look at some of the features. Starting on our left, we have our auxiliary start. What that's doing is it's allowing your coach to utilize your chassis batteries and house batteries at the same time. It's really going to ensure that you don't get stranded somewhere. The little red light switch with the red light on it. A lot of people ask what that is. And that is the power button for your heated mirrors. New this year is the Ford Digital Dash. That's going to display a lot of the features that you're getting in your vehicle at home. We have our four-point automatic hydraulic leveling system so when you pull into the campground it's not much of a hassle you hit the auto button stay still if you're moving around in your unit it will always try to level based on the weight that's shifting around so when we do hit that button make sure we are staying still our display now that is our stereo as well as it is our display for our cameras so we put the unit in reverse it displays the rear backup camera when we apply our turn signal either left or right, it applies that camera that's located on the outside of the unit. The last button up here we'll talk about is our, or our generator start button. So if we need to start our generator, you can do that from the cockpit. Now onto the passenger side. We have one of the best thought out laptop trays in the industry in my opinion. The bottom pulls out for storage. We have adjustable shelf and the top pulls out as well. Great spot for snacks or put your laptop on speaking of laptop let's talk about light or power sources we all know we have a lot of technology we're always got our smart devices within arm's reach so from this cockpit we have 110 hookups right behind it we have 110 hookups in the cabinet we have 110 
hookups down by your feet as well. In the center console, we have four USB ports in the console. We have two USB ports on the dash and two 12 volt plugs as well. So as you can see, powering your smart device is not gonna be a problem in the Admiral. Now, as we're talking about smart devices, I almost forgot a important feature that comes with the 32S, and that is the Wi-Fi Ranger. The badge is up there, which has your password on it. And what that's going to do is amplify that signal. So when you're in the back of the campground and you typically cannot get that signal, it's gonna boost it and make it available for you. Coming up top, we have our drop-down queen bed. That's a standard feature in all Admirals, and that has a 600 pound capacity on it. Now, as we move into the living area, as you can see, both captain chairs do spin around for additional seat seating in the living area. And the jackknifing sofa does come standard in the Admiral. We can do a theater seating if you choose to do so, but standard is a jackknifing sofa, which does come down for additional sleeping. We have 110 USB hookups in the corner, as well as straight up above. We got some overhead storage coming over to the dinette. Again, the dinette drops down for additional seat, uh, sleeping. We do have seat belts in both sides of the dinette. We have storage underneath and USB and 110 hookups at your feet as well. Right above our dinette, we have our LED TV which gives us a great viewing angle from our sofa. And a good thing about how Holiday Rambler does it is, they include the windows. In some other RVs, you may see that when they put the TV above the dinette, they delete those windows. So with Holiday Rambler, you got both of those options. So in the kitchen, the 32S comes with solid surface countertops. Underneath the solid surface covers, we have a deep double bowl stainless steel sink. We have a three burning cooktop with range and oven. We have a stainless steel microwave and a full length tile backsplash. In some other motorhomes, you may see the four to six inch backsplash. With Holiday Rambler, we go the full length, giving it a nice residential high end look. As far as storage in the kitchen, we have a large amount of storage underneath the cabinet. We do have our bypass switch for our water heater and three pull out drawers, all on 100 pound drawer glide, so you know they're stable and sturdy. Coming up above, we have adjustable shelving. And as you can see, we have all metal hardware. So you don't have to worry about the plastic hardware giving. Moving back to the refrigerators, we talked about outside, this particular unit has an RV style refrigerator. Standard is going to be a residential refrigerator. And we have two pantries as well. Now let's move directly across from the refrigerator to the first full bathroom. We have a full porcelain toilet, all Holiday Rambler products come with a porcelain toilet. We have a stainless steel sink, a large shower with glass sliding doors, a skylight up above, and an adjustable shower head. Now as far as storage goes in the first master bath, there's a ton of storage in here. We have four cabinets with ample storage, plus two large shelves to store all of our linens. So storage space in the first bathroom, it's not going to be an issue. We'll move back into the master bedroom. We have a king size bed. We have great access to making the bed by coming up on the side. We have a ton of deep storage up above and individual reading lights mounted underneath our overhead storage. Moving over to the wardrobe. This is one spot where the 32S really shines. We have two large hanging spaces and 10 drawers in the dresser side of the Admiral. And plus our LED TV for the master bedroom right there as well. We have a stereo that is Bluetooth. And now this stereo will cast to the speakers that are located in the bedroom here, or they'll also cast to the exterior speakers of the unit. And if you wanna see a video on how that operates, you can click the button in the description and we'll have one linked under there for you. Moving into the second full bathroom, 
Again, we have a large shower with the glass doors, the adjustable shower head, skylight up above giving us that extra headroom. All Holiday Rambler products have a porcelain toilet. And as far as storage goes, there's even more storage in the rear bathroom. This one has nine doors and drawers plus two shelves. So storage is definitely not going to be a problem in a 32S. So there's the quick walk around the Admiral 32S. As you can see, this is a very family friendly unit with a ton of storage for all of your gear to keep you comfortable on that next big adventure. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest floor plans and new options that are coming out. And plus, use the, utilize the comment section below and ask us any questions you may have and we'll do our very best to answer those for you. And if we don't see you again before the holidays, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks.